A Connecticut man is claiming self-defense in the death of a hotel worker while he was on a family vacation in the Caribbean. Scott Hapgood is charged with killing Kenny Mitchell of the Caribbean island of Anguilla earlier this month. A spokesman for Hapgood says he was trying to protect his family when Mitchell attacked him without warning. Mona Lange is here with the latest details. Mola, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora. A police spokesman told the Associated Press that Hapgood's young daughters were in the hotel room when Kenny Mitchell was killed. Investigators have not reported a motive for his death, and Anguillan officials say they're struggling to find answers to the many questions in this case. Anguilla's police department says officers were called to investigate Kenny Mitchell's death shortly after 4 p.m. on April 13th. So don't worry. The 27-year-old father worked at a luxury resort on the island's west end. An autopsy report shows he was beaten and choked to death. Three days later, police charged Scott Hapgood with manslaughter. The 44-year-old from Connecticut was vacationing on the island with his family and staying at the hotel where Mitchell was allegedly employed as a maintenance worker. A spokeswoman for Hapgood says the worker showed up unannounced in uniform at the hotel room, claiming he was there to fix a broken sink before carrying out his sudden, violent attack on the family. She alleges he was armed and demanding money. Mitchell's uncle, Victor, says that's not true. It is just a makeup story. That's not right. That's not true. Kenny was just not a person who would get anybody problem. Hapgood was originally denied bail from prison, but later released on a $74,000 bond following an appeal from his attorney. Local reports say many Anguillans are angry and demanding Hapgood return to the island to face justice. The British territory of around 15,000 people in the Caribbean often attracts wealthy vacationers. On social media, Anguilla's former head of tourism urged residents not to allow the case to tarnish the island's reputation. We remain resolute and firm in the belief that we are proud, strong, and we continue to welcome visitors to our shows. Well, Hapgood is a financial advisor. He's due back in court in Anguilla in August. His attorney on the island told a local newspaper that he has every intention to return to Anguilla to clear his name. And reports say that Hapgood had never previously been charged with a crime, guys. It's a very bizarre story. It is. A lot of angry people on that island wanting him to return. Yeah, yeah. and a lot of questions. Thank you. Good to have you at the table. Yeah, it's yeah. good to be here. Thanks. You look nice the same you, as you do on TV. Thank nice you. to have you here. <laughs> in better in person. Yes, right. yeah. better in person. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.